dear students today let us continue with the chapter basic concepts of oops in this session we will focus on three topics first advantages of oops second disadvantages of oops and third applications of oops now let us start with the first topic advantages of oops the first point in this is programs are based on the concepts of oops like classes objects message passing overloading etc which you already studied the next point in this is it reduces code duplication and code reusability code duplication and code reusability can be reduced the next point is objects and models can be developed and thus they reduces software development time and hence increases productivity so software development time can be reduced the fourth point is it provides data security data is hidden so outside functions cannot access the data only member functions can access the data thus it provides data security the fifth point is easier to develop complex software because complexity can be reduced through inheritance inheritance which you already studied is a process by which objects of one class gets the properties of objects of another class so complexity can be reduced using inheritance the next one is abstraction that is data abstraction separates object specification and object implementation abstraction means taking essential features of an object and hiding the background details the seventh point is oops can communicate through message passing that is processing is done by sending messages to the objects now i'll highlight the main points once more please listen carefully the first one is programs are based on the concepts of oops reduces code duplication and code reusability third reduces software development time fourth point provides data security fifth point complexity of the program can be reduced through inheritance sixth point is data abstraction separates object specification and object implementation and the last point is object oriented programming can communicate through message passing so these are some of the advantages of oops now we'll move to the next one disadvantages of oops in that first point is object oriented program has more lines of code than procedural program last year you already studied how to write procedure oriented cpp programming this year you are going to do programs based on the concepts of oops that is classes objects etc when you are using the concepts of oops the length of the program will increase the second one is object oriented program are slower than procedural program as they require more instructions to be executed so oops are slower than procedural program moving to the 
next point is it is not suitable for all types of program it is not suitable for all types of program fourth point is to convert a real world problem into oop is difficult the next one is oop software is not having set standards that means oop software development debugging and testing tools are not standardized the next point is classes are overly generalized generalization means extracting shared characteristics from two or more classes and combining them into a super class when you start doing object oriented programming in the coming classes you will understand this concept more these are some of the disadvantages of oops i'll repeat it by highlighting the main points listen first point is oop has more lines of code than procedural programs second oop are slower than procedural program third it is not suitable for all types of program fourth to convert a real world problem into oop is difficult fifth oop software is not having set standards sixth classes are overly generalized not only these six points there are so many other disadvantages of oops if any of these points are difficult for you you can add some other points like object oriented program are tricky next one one needs to do proper planning and proper design for object oriented programming next programmer need proper skills such as design skills programming skills thinking skills etc these are also some of the disadvantages of oops hope you understood both advantages and disadvantages of oops the last topic in this session is applications of oops the first one is computer graphic application second one cat cam software cat means computer aided design cam means computer aided manufacture here also we can make use of oop so cat cam software third object oriented database fourth point real time systems systems where parameters change every time are called as real time systems for example in thermal plant temperature and pressure changes every time the next one is simulation and modeling simulation means imitation of real world product imitation of real world product is called as simulation the next one is artificial intelligence and expert systems artificial intelligence and expert systems artificial intelligence it is a combination of both hypermedia and real time systems and the last one is user interface design such as windows user interface design such as windows these are some of the applications of oops so you already studied at advantages of oops disadvantages of oops and the last applications of oops hope you understood these concepts thank you